Mining started out as a ship capability with various improvements arriving throughout the patches and asteroid mining also making an appearance. Towards the end of last year in patch 3.7, hand mining also became an option with the addition of small caves to explore. Now with patch 3.10, we are seeing another rendition of the mining game loop with vehicular mining. A brand new vehicle has been revealed in recent leaks, showing a solo ground-based mining buggy. But what kind of additional gameplay could this introduce? Let's jump into it and talk it out. Thanks for coming to this Tomato Talk. And a big shout out to my newest patron, Nathan Wong. The Remote Ore Collector, or Rock, made by Greycat will be the first ground-based mining vehicle we get to see in action. It offers a different experience to mining minerals than both ship-based and hand-based mining, but how different can it really be? If ship-based mining allows for large quantities of extraction with highly resistant and volatile rocks, and hand mining allows for more precise mining of small deposits, sometimes underground, then what exactly does vehicular mining do for us in the middle? Here is the official text. The Greycat Industrial Rock is a ground vehicle designed to mine large crystalline mineral nodes that are just beyond the reach of a hand tool. This single seat vehicle is small enough to be transported in ships such as the Cutlass Black, Freelancer, and Valkyrie allowing you to take it to the newly added minerals that are scattered around planet and moon surfaces in the PU. So there are a couple important points to this text. One, the vehicle is meant to mine only on the surface. Two, it will interact with new mining nodes, which are larger than the hand mineables, but smaller than the giant boulders that ships handle. And three, it will allow for most mid-sized ships to essentially become inclusive mining transports. You'll now be able to take your Cutlass Black out to the surface of Microtech, do some heavy mining, and then return back to the space station for a cool 30k. No, 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 not that 30k. I mean 30k UEC, 30k large, fresh in the bank. The new mineables will be an interesting addition. If they are completely new materials and not just new sized nodes, it will be interesting to see where they fall in the overall economy of trading and mining. Additionally, while multi-tools sound out of the question, I wonder if there will be overlapping the ability to mine these nodes with ships. While it sounds like there won't be new sized caves added to the game to accommodate these vehicles, we know that larger sized caves are planned to allow for vehicles and even ships to enter. So it's only a matter of time. It doesn't always have to be, uh, you know, tiny crevices in the ground. It could also be, for example, a huge crater in in the ground somewhere that that simply encompasses or inherits an, an entire cave system underneath itself. Some, something that we have tried as well was uh, the sinkhole, uh, which uh, many people were quite excited about. Maybe we have a video of that. Okay. Let's see. That looks like sinkhole. Yeah. And it's not the big one, I guess. Yeah. So, and when it comes to Im the implementation of these caves on the planet, something we realized that from a technical point of view, at least in the very beginning, since this would be the very, very first iteration, um, and we are still in R&D, right? Um, some cave entrances were easier to implement than others. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind this consideration went into the design process of this vehicle. 
so keep an eye out for a flashlight attached to the mining arm, perhaps for those darker environments. At this point, I think we can expect to see new development in caves sometime soon. In entrance size, materials, interactivity, and even living NPCs. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a trading outpost of some sort underground. All in all, it makes sense for CIG to be using the already developed mining game loop to introduce more vehicles. And while it is disappointing for those of us looking for new developments in things like, say, exploration, it is still additional gameplay which is fleshing out the game. So I'm happy to see others receive more content to play around with. Here's to hoping it's purchasable in game soon so that I can try it out too. Tell me what you think of this new vehicle in the comments below. With cargo carrying and mining vehicles beginning to be introduced, do you think we might see surface outposts with garages where we can trade and store these vehicles? Or maybe surface base for fineries so you don't have to transport your ore to a space station? Or would that diminish cargo hauling gameplay? I don't, I don't know. I'm getting carried away. Let me know what you think though in the comments or join me on Discord to discuss this further. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Space Tomato to get more weekly Star Citizen content.